Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing, well, an unbagging, I guess you could say. We are going to check this new bag out together. It is a Tory Burch chain bag, a Tory Burch Kira to be more precise, but one unlike I have ever showed you on this channel before, and it is still available last I checked on Saks. I will link it down in the description box should I be able to find it. This bag is a stunner, and before I get to it, I did want to show you a couple other of my Tory Burch bags because... They are all stunners and they hold their own against any of my luxury bags. The first one I want to feature today is my Kira in the ruched leather. Now this is an amazing bag. I mean, the detail work on it is incredible. I love that it has a little bit longer break on the top for my shoulder. And in order to accomplish that, with a chain bag, they just make it so where this piece, the second chain, does not have a leather brake. And that way, you can pull this leather brake forward or backwards so that it is very comfortable on your shoulder. This is the first of the Kira's I want to show you. I have one more. And I have three others in the satchel style, but I'm just focusing on the chain style today. The second one I wanted to show you is my Arctic Woven Kira. And you can see you've either got a suede or it's the back side of the leather. I'm not sure. And then the lambskin alternating on this bag. And I have treated it with Colonel Carbon Pro so that I can hopefully keep the suede bits clean and color transfer free. I've only used this once or twice, but the detail on this, again, is stunning. It seems like silver hardware is something that Tori Birch likes to do on some of her most beautiful and intricate bags. And so that is number two of the Tori Birch chain bags that I have. I have one more and it is not a Kira bag, but it's still worth featuring. The third one is this Britain bag. Now this is the older style of the Britain. The new style has compartments where it kind of comes up and up on the sides. It's got compartments and lots of glazing. This one just has one big open compartment and I like that. The thing I don't like about this style of Britain is it has two magnetic closures on the bottom which makes it so where you have to pull one side and then keep it open and then pull the other side to get it open. But the interior is what I really like, that it's just one big wide open space, just like the Kira's that I just showed you. And of course this one has some pockets, just like the Kira's do, and a zippered pocket inside. This chain is long enough that it can go crossbody or shoulder, and it has the leather detail woven into it. I think the color name on this is French Gray, and I added this pearl chain from Samorga as a grab handle for this bag. And because the little D-ring is tight there, it keeps this part of it in the shoulder configuration. It, it doesn't do a whole lot of sliding. It doesn't slide very easily anyway. And so I like to wear this bag on the shoulder and then use this as a grab handle. And I keep thinking, oh, I should just sell this bag. But then I look at it and I'm like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. I can't. So that is the third bag I wanted to show you today. So let's get into the unbagging, unboxing, reveal, whatever you want to call it. I'm just a little bit stuffy, so if I sound nasally, that's why. Tory Burch has updated their dust bags again. If you look here, it says Tory Burch in the ribbon, but I don't see any other spots where it says it. And I don't see any colored area up here at the top. Like her older ones used to have a pattern up here. And then the ends of the drawstrings had like a little golden charm with her emblem. So without further ado, do, 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 do. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Now I posted this bag on my community page. If you watched my community page, you would have seen it. It was marked from 748 down to, I think, 458 on Neiman Marcus. And the last I checked on Saks, it was a little over 500. So I think it was around $50 more on Saks, but still a great deal. And again, I'll post any links I can find down in the description box. But this is in a woven 
new cream colored leather with silver, tumbled silver type hardware. It has the double chain strap, just like those other Kira's do. And then it has the magnetic closure, just like the other Kira's do. The newer style Kira's have this square closure. The older style ones, the ones that have the smaller emblem up front, they have a round closure generally, at least that's what I have experienced. Now the inside of this bag, it looks like it has a little bit of imprinting up here. And I think that's because it's laying against this beautiful quilting. That's pretty normal because this is a soft, delicious feeling leather. Tory Burch is really good about putting amazing leather inside of most of their retail bags. Now I have found that some of their Eleanor bags have bonded leather inside and they even put that in the description box a while back. And so I didn't like that, but this I'm pretty darn sure is real leather. It feels fabulous. And if it's anything but, I would be highly surprised because it doesn't feel like that. You can tell by the feel of these things. This bag has the same layout as those other two Kira's, but let me show you since I didn't show you those. There's two pockets right here. Then there is a zippered pocket back there. I don't feel like I need an insert for these bags. It's got a woven jacquard lining. I do like having an insert in the other style Kira that doesn't have this quilting or the ruching or the woven like I just showed you because this quilting gives it extra structure. It is still a little smooshy gooshy, so an insert wouldn't hurt anything, but it can kind of hold its own a little bit better than just the standard chevron lambskin Kira's do. So why don't I go ahead and do one more spin move? So now she's not stuffed anymore. I may grab an insert real quick and just see if it fits. Hang on, I will be right back. Out of my three Kira's, this one is collapsing more than the other two, but less than the Chevron, like I mentioned. This is an insert for a Gucci Marmont camera bag. And I found them to be very similar in size to the Soft Tabby by Coach as well as the Kira. So let's just see if it fits. Oh my goodness, it is like a glove. Now, unfortunately, I cannot give you information for this company anymore. They went out of business. It was SUNY Bag and Bag, but that fits amazingly well. And it looks great now with that in there. So I had two extras of those inserts, still one to go. And I have a place for that. You're gonna see an unboxing for that very soon. Before I stand up and try on this bag, let me tell you one thing. So you may remember I opened a Gucci Marmont in an off-white with silver hardware recently, and it was the flap style bag. And when I opened it, I was delighted. I got it straight from the Gucci boutique. I'm gonna link it down in the description box. A personal shopper helped me find it. And the name of the personal shopper is Doctora Foxy or Jazzy in Miami. And when I opened it, I was very happy. I got a discount on it. You know, I got it for, I think around 25% off, basically paid her a fee. And then I, you know, she paid the store and I got a deal and she got paid for that, which is fine. Well, after I did the video, I noticed that there was a lot of cracking around the inside leather bits right by the lining. And I'm talking like every single stitch. And at first, I just saw one little bit, like as I opened the flap, looked in, I looked at this part right here, and that's all I noticed. And you can notice here that the stitching is like perfect on this bag, but on the Gucci Marmont, there was like a little splits in the leather every single stitch. And then when I got down to the ends here, there were little flecks of leather missing, especially where you had all the junctions of the horizontal, the horizontal and the vertical stitching coming together on the bag, there were issues. And it was also really sloppily stitched on one side where it wasn't even level across the top. And when I first sent pictures of it to the sales associate on my receipt, they said it's final sale, that's just normal, they're handmade. And I, at first I only saw 
what was right here. But then I went and looked back a little closer after talking to my friend Amy who had the same bag and she sent me pictures of hers and hers was perfect just like this bag is on the inside. And so I looked all the way around. The spots on the ends were the very worst and I'm sure I'm going to be putting some pictures in as I'm talking. And I sent Jay, the sales associate down at Boca Raton, Florida, the store where my Gucci bag came from, I sent him pictures and said, this can't be normal. I talked to a seamstress. They told me that the needle wasn't sharp enough. And that was why all of these little cracks were happening all the way around. And it was only just, as you can see, there's a stitch, row of stitches here, row of stitches here on the bag I got, there was only cracks on the top row and it was all the way around. So after a lot of back and forth, they agreed to do an exchange. They could not get the cream Gucci anymore. It's completely sold out, but they were able to let me exchange it for a full price item. So now my deal is not as good. I mean, I basically threw the money away that I paid to the personal shopper. And I really feel like I threw that money away because when I showed her the problem, asked her for help, asked her to see if she could get a refund for me or an exchange, she basically said, it's final sale. All I do is arrange the sale. That's all I do. And then I'm out. And so that was not helpful. And in fact, I need to go back and edit my video and say I no longer recommend this person because my experience with personal shoppers has been limited to her and then to Jessa Lux, and Jessa Lux is amazing, and I recommend her 1,010%. I've had an issue with, I think, two bags out of maybe eight that I've bought from her, and she has facilitated an exchange both times, no issues, and I mean, in all reality, these companies, the bags, they're just not the same level of quality that they used to be. They're getting sloppy and people are still paying for them. And most people won't say anything if they get a $2,000 bag and it's messed up. They'll just take it because they assume that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, when I get a $2,000 bag and want it to have glazing that's not cracked, leather that's not cracked, and I don't think that's unreasonable at all. And Jessa Lux facilitates that to happen, and Jazzy in Miami just said, you're out of luck, basically. So, I mean, she did say I could work with the store, but since she purchased it for me with her credit card, that ended up putting her name on the receipt as well as my name for where it was shipped to. And that just twisted things around just a bit more. It would have been better if I had went with another personal shopper, maybe where they actually took my credit card information and then the whole thing was in my name, but that's not the route I took. So let me go ahead and try on this bag because this is the bag I am having instead of that Gucci Marmont and I love it. I love it every bit as much and I can't wait to show you what I'm exchanging that Gucci Marmont for because it is a color I do not have in my collection at all and it turned out that it was almost the exact same price that I paid for that bag so at least I'm getting a beautiful new bag and a color that I don't have that I will get to show you very soon. So I'm wearing something I've worn before recently. It's just a floral tank with some purple pants and maybe not the best outfit to showcase this bag, but I am in love. It is so comfortable on the shoulder and it is not like a super smooth, soft surface for my arm to rest on, but it is not unpleasant in the least. And again, I'm going to squat down here. You can pull this forward or push this back so that leather break rests exactly where you want to. I'm 5'8", size medium, about 145 pounds, and I feel like that is a perfect drop for me, but I also don't mind wearing my bags up higher, and I would be okay with it coming just a little bit lower as well. As I've showed you before, with these bags that have the grommets side to side like this, you can actually use the chain part Instead, if you are short and you want a higher crossbody fit, you could just have the chain crossbody and then you would have this essentially looking like a cute little top handle and that works too. The chain is flat so it is pretty darn comfortable despite the fact that it does not have a leather break. So I am 1000% going to spray this bag down 
it's going to get a good dousing. I just got some new Colonel Carbon Pro. I will link my Spray With Me video down in the description box. Sometimes people ask me to do another one of those and to spray like a certain type of leather like lambskin. And I will just say that it doesn't matter what kind of leather it is. I spray everything the same. Basically put a good coat on, wipe off the hardware, you know, turn it around, put a good coat on, put a good coat on. I'll leave it open to dry like this, you know, once there's not any wet spots anymore here, you know, then I'll flip it over and I'll prop it open and just let it lay like that for a while and just basically give it 24 hours and reposition it a couple times. The main thing is, is I don't let this flap close until it is 100% dry, like probably 24 hours, I'll put something to prop it open because I have noticed that the leather, that the leather bits underneath the flap, if you let that close and rest on it, it can leave kind of a wet, oily look here if it doesn't get a dry properly. But that said, it is not a hard thing to do. I just make sure to wipe the hardware off really well. Try not to douse the hardware. And I use Colonel Carbon Pro because I feel like it sprays easier, but Apple Guard works very well. So either option would be fine in my opinion. So that is it. Let me know what you think of this fabulous bag. I think that sometimes things work out for the best and that I was meant to have this bag and not the Gucci Marmont in the cream color with the silver hardware. This is every bit as fabulous and I cannot wait to show you the Gucci bag I'm getting to replace the damaged one. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.